So I thought I'd just do another quick video about um, the stages. This is a kingdom that's currently in season two, and you'll notice just like the one about season one where we just entered the season one, uh, there's an all season kingdoms list, and these are the kingdoms that are just coming out of season one into season two, and they're not yet in their lost kingdoms list where they start having their, their battles one on one. So you can see it's just the regions of the eight kingdoms each. Right, And then over here we have the Lost Kingdoms list, and these are those that are currently in battles within their region. And here the battle has not opened, so they haven't um, actually started the battle. They don't even have their assignments as to which region where they will start, or which zone they will start. The region is the 8, the zone is the section on the map. And then here again, hasn't opened the Lost Kingdom for battles, but here they have assigned where everyone is going to be. And then 2542 is the kingdom that I currently have a residence in. Let me get down to it. Interesting. Now you'll notice that they're not necessarily consecutive. So when these battles happen, they move from region to region. You'll see that there's, see like 2533, they're now competing with those that were not in their region in the off season. In the off season, they come together, the eight kingdoms together, and they are, have been in the same region all along. And it looks like even through season one, they all stay in the same region. You'll notice it's the eight consecutive. Then once they get into Season 2 and they start battling in Lost Kingdom, they may start having some rearranging based on their performance of who they will be competing with and who they will be matched with and all of that. So see how there's a lot more shuffling of the numbers here. And you can still see who are the strongest, and in here they're showing four strongest and not two strongest, like in, when we have the eight together. Here they're not showing the strongest. Maybe this has to do with matching. Until the end of season two, governors with more than 15 million power cannot immigrate to the eight most powerful kingdoms currently in season two. Okay, so these are four are four of the top eight that are currently in season two. Kingdom power is equal to the total power of the top 300 governors in that kingdom. Governors with more than 150 million power will be calculated as 150 million. So m immigration starts getting more complicated as we enter these seasons because there will be limitations, probably to even out the power just a little bit more so there's not one major mega nasty kingdom going after everyone. So, but, okay, that's me talking, not the game. So... These kind of things you can bring up whenever you have a question about something. Always come up with these, you know, click on things and ask questions. It's going to say the same things. So these four are among the four top. And let's see if the other four top are in this area. Two of them are. Two of them are in this area. So these, these kingdoms have been battling the longest in season two, so it makes sense that the ones that are are the strongest might be in those, but I'm not finding the other two, which I find very interesting. Makes me wonder where the other two are, but I'm not going to spend all of your time looking for them. So my kingdom, 2542, is in this competition right here. I don't know what the S stands for, but maybe it means just the season number for this. So Oh, here's where the other two are. No, we're the top one, sorry. We are the longest. So we will probably be entering season three if we get far enough in this competition. So, and you'll see this countdown here, and I'll show you in a moment the announcement for the countdown. So we just completed a KVK. So the countdown began after that last KVK. We are currently in zone three, we are in a corner. I don't believe that corners are preferred. I think that people prefer to be here, maybe because you can have greater access to even more of the kingdoms, whereas here it's a 
long march between the corners. Definitely is a long march. So this is the kingdom here that my city is in, as you can tell, and these are two of the top eight, so no way could anyone from with a lot of power be migrating to those to be joining them. So you cannot immigrate to the eight most powerful currently in season two. So anyone more than 15 million. I could. In fact, maybe I'll consider it. But I would be abandoning friends and I would not want to do that. And I'd be stuck there for 30 days, which would not be fun. But, um, and those are considerations to have when you're playing. What are your motivations for playing? My motivation was never to be in the battles, but I want to observe them and I want to learn them and I want to teach them. So, um, so here again is the immigration rules, okay? And this is for every season, and you can always pull this up whenever you pull up the world. So here it talks about the seasons and where you can transfer between and what you can do between, and then what you need. See here, when applying for immigration, your current and target kingdom must be in the same region. And see, look at that word, when applying. <laughs> so, characters applying for immigration cannot be more than 90 days older than the destination kingdom. So, here, up here it's 10 day difference. Down here it's 90 days difference. So, you'll be able to do, you'll have more flexibility for movement once you get into the higher seasons. But you'll also have established more rel relationship. And then here's the power caps they talk about. So look through this and you'll understand more about what is involved with immigration. I know a lot of people ask questions about it and I do not have the most um, the best answer for them yet because I learn by experiencing it and less than by being told. So, and then there's something called the Eve of the Crusade event and there, we're coming up on that and these are just commanders and equipment that will be made available for people in any particular season. So, and I haven't gotten into the equipment at all. I'm learning as I go along just so I can teach as I go along so any more experienced players may find my videos quite boring hopefully not so that is where it is for being in season two now I brought us over here for another video so for now I'm going to wish you Godspeed and sign off